the committee, along with Vice Chair Barbara Tannis, has worked tirelessly since July on pulling this event off. So I'd like to personally thank you all for not finding it robbery to support this event, to put your dollars here, and also to bring your time to celebrate our state chairman, our Passaic County Democratic Chairman, John Curry. So tonight, Reverend Gibbons has a number of surprises for you. He wanted to make this evening special. It's up to you to make sure that you enjoy it, and we'd like to welcome you again, and thank you for joining us. Um, good afternoon. <clears throat> I, I, John Curry, solemnly swear, solemnly swear, I will faithfully, faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly, and justly, perform all the duties, perform all the duties, the office of chairman, the office of chairman, of the state Democratic Party, of the state Democratic Party, here in New Jersey, here in New Jersey, I further solemnly swear, I further solemnly swear, I will support, I support, and defend, and defend, the Constitution, the Constitution, of the United States, of the United States, and of this, and of this state, and of true Faith, I have true faith and allegiance, and allegiance to, the same, to the same and to the governments and to the government established established under the people under the people so help me God so help me God thank you Governor. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening the Patterson Democratic Club Chairman I saw the program this evening and said, let the work I've done speak for me. Your work speaks volumes, and it's in this room this evening. I'd say arguably the highlight of tonight was seeing our Vice Chairwoman, Barbara Tannis, enter those doors. And what I thought was, what I thought now would be appropriate is that if she can make it here this evening, November 4th, we gotta make sure everyone gets to the polls. Let's win this one for our Chairman. And for Barbara Tannis. Right, Jeff? So, Mr. Chairman, in honor of a gentleman who's made history in Passaic County, in the state of New Jersey, we want to tell you that Patterson is always proud of one of our favorite sons. So, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of our chairman, let's raise our glasses in salute of our champion. Chairman John Curry. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you very much. Round of applause. Thank you. Senate, we have a joint resolution for our chairman that's signed by our Senate president and our speaker, Vinnie Prieto. We are not going to read the entire resolution, but we are going to allow Assemblyman Wimberly to give remarks at this time. Good evening. Uh, it is truly an honor to honor such a great man. Uh, John Kerry, as I've known him since I guess he's been eight, nine years old as coach, and I talked to his son earlier. Uh, he's talking about the uh, the uh, things that he implemented to young folks when it came to coaching and structure, he's done the same thing in the political arena. 
when uh, we were younger, he was the coach of the Inca Suns, which was predominantly uh, CCP and the first ward of the city of Patterson. And one year we actually combined with the boys club and we became a major powerhouse and traveled to North Carolina to play the Pee Wee Bowl when I was 10 years old. And that's all due to John Kerry. So we've gone back for over 40 years. And that coaching that he does here with the Democratic Party and individual leaders, the opportunities that he has created for so many people, and particularly, and particularly people of color and women, Coach Curry, I appreciate you, I thank you, and I wish that God continues to bless you and that your tree continues to grow. God bless you. Right. Every election is important, every significant. Now, this is an off-year election. A lot of people aren't going to vote, and a lot of people don't want those who are going to vote to vote. And there are people who are going to suppress the vote. Every state in this union has had a big problem, a small problem, on suppressing the vote in many different ways, from voter ID to poll taxes. Yeah, I thought we were finished with those things. In every one of the cases, though, in the past three months, the courts overturned what that state was trying to do in order to minimize the vote. They become a little bit more sophisticated in the state of New Jersey, but it's still there. Believe me, I can tell you that. We need to get everyone out to vote to demonstrate that in Passaic County we take that vote very seriously. People have lost blood, they lost their lives over the precious vote. So we need to get everybody out to vote. There's no two ways about it. I'm pleading with you to do whatever you can to make that vote not only respectable, but to send a very clear message to Trenton, as well as our state organization, that our chairman, who's worked diligently, not only for Passaic County, but for the state, has done another great job, as he's done since he's been the chairman of our party. And John, we're gonna get the vote out on election day. We're gonna get the vote out. We're gonna get the vote out on election day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for me to be here. I've been through Bergen County most of the day, but started in Patterson uh, and come back uh, to the Patterson Democrats. I want to salute the Patterson Democrats. I want to salute the Patterson Democrats. Hey, this is a pretty spiffy place. You know? This is pretty spiffy for spiffy people. <laughs> That's right. And I'll tell you, I saw a couple of penguins when I walked in on and I said, oh, that's you, Reverend. <laughs> I saw some penguins here. Some guy, and you look great in your tuxedos. You really do. Uh, you do honor to the tuxedo. <laughs> so God bless you. Uh, we're going to have a great last final two weeks. Um, I'm called out of state to help other candidates in other parts of this uh, great country of ours. But I'm back home. I'm always back home. And this is where I grew up. This is where they'll put me and uh, meet my maker. And Patterson is a great city. It has a lot of resources, a lot of resourceful people. The best is yet to come. We need to put our heads together to find out how to do that and not waste any time. So God bless you all. Thank you for listening. And bring home Roe in Passaic County on November the 4th. John, thank you for the job you've done. Thank you. and he works very, very hard. Most importantly, he shows leadership, not only on his own behalf, but he inspires people to be leaders. And I think Bill Pastorell, as, a, as an example of the inspiration that John has provided over the years. We have problems in this country, but they're not problems that can be, can't be solved. In fact, we do apply the appropriate energies and skills. And I would say that John created in his relatively short tenure a whole atmosphere of collaboration. It's not an easy thing to be 
a Democrat all the time. The Democrats don't always work together, but John has brought a degree of harmony to this state, which is very impressive. He's been able to, even in Republican-oriented areas, counties, Monmouth County, Somerset County, he's developed a new sense of enthusiasm by his radiation good feeling. And I'm really convinced that he is going to be providing us the ability to take the gubernatorial election back and make sure that Democrats prevail. So thank you very much and lots of good luck. Thank you very much. Good up for, up for our governor, Florio. We have a major election coming up. We love John Curry. John Curry will love all of us better. When we win victory across the board this coming election. And let me tell New Jersey, Passaic County, and Patterson. Chairman Curry said he needs 25,000 votes out of the city of Patterson. We need that, Patterson, and we think we can bring it out. New Jersey, listen up, can I have your attention here? New Jersey is a blue state. We have a senator running, and we have freeholders running. County clerks running. My main point, we have a state senator running. And New Jersey is a blue state. Yeah. And New Jersey allowed to elect and re-elect a Republican governor. We need not let that happen to Senator Curry in this election. New Jersey, Versace County, and Patterson. A blue state, Democrat, re-elect a Republican governor. Tonight is our victory party. And we want all of you, all of you, to encourage your friends, your family, your Republican friends, and your Democrats who don't come out on an off presidential election year. But I want you to remind all of those Democrats who re-elect a Republican governor, let them know that we Democrats are our brother's keeper. Remind the Republicans and our Democrats that because of Democrats, we have Social Security today. Social Security is a Democrat bill. Because of Democrats, we have the right to negotiate a labor. That's a Democrat bill. Fair Labor Act is a Democrat bill. The right to vote is a Democrat bill. Fair Housing Act is a Democrat bill. Women's right to vote and to choose is a Democrat bill. Student loan is a Democrat bill. Low interest rate for student loan is a Democrat bill. Minimum wages is a Democrat bill. Brown versus Board of Education is a Democrat bill. Regulation of the airlines and regulation of banking where is a Democrat bill that Wall Street will not take advantage of Main Street. That's a Democrat bill. Medicaid is a Democrat bill. Fair labor for women is a Democrat bill. And lastly, Everyone can have a health care. That's a Democrat bill. Remind everybody come November. Don't play cute and re-elect any Republican because we in a blue state. We are supposed to win. And the Democrat bill is our brother keeper. May God bless all of you. Thank you, John Curry. DJ.